Well, I can't do this fight. It, I've won it a couple times, but it's so luck dependent, it's beyond belief. Like, I have to hope, hope that the Haunter doesn't curse me on the first turn. And that's a big ask right there. And then I have to hope if it does do something else like Lick, it doesn't get off Paralysis. And every time I've fought him so far tonight, I've been paralyzed in the first or second Lick. Like, I just cannot, you know, maintain a Fury Cutter offense if that's what we're going to go with, you know, on that kind of pressure. Um, and I can't, you know, use Mud Slap. Because um, even with Mud Slap, I don't hit hard enough. Like, I hit for like a third of Haunter's HP. It's like, I need something that hits way, way harder. It's it's why I fear this run's gonna come down to using, you know, X items at some point. Because I just, you know, have nothing I can do with Meganium. Its attack stats just aren't strong enough. And its move pool's not wide enough to make it very effective. It's one of the frustrating things about a lot of grass types. Their move pools are so limiting, you know, coming up with how to use them is a pain in the butt. <sighs> I mean, if I had access to, say, Swords Dance or Ancient Power, you know, I could smash somebody with at least a base 60 power move instead of going with something like base 20. So at least maybe then, you know, I could hit for half. Easily enough, and then, you know, drop it. So I'm forced to come out here and go basically fight other trainers so I can get a few levels. Man, that's gonna suck. I don't know if I'll be able to beat him even after I get a few levels, you know? Like, it, it's just that iffy. I suppose I could try Swagger next, you know, and try and confuse it. I mean, it, it is an option, you know, swagger it and hope it hits itself really hard. Thankfully, the, the next one, I'm pretty sure, is a water type, so, uh, that headbutt won't be too annoying. Since I can switch back over to my stab move after this. Yep, Psyduck. Hopefully we'll evolve soon, and I can use the boosted power of evolution to try and, you know, come up with something. I mean, maybe I'll make Mud Slap powerful enough I can make it work somehow. Like, like, Littlefoot, why do you have to suck so hard? It's really frustrating, you know? Unfortunately, I don't think we can evolve at level 30. We gotta go higher. I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. I don't know what kind of Pokemon you have. But I want to say it's like Skiploom. Oh no, it's Corsola! Oh man. That's an oddity. You don't see too many Corsolas. I wish I could like you, Corsola. You were the savior of the rock run, though, I'll give you that. If, because Corsola's mirror code let me, you know, get past Claire. Um, so it came in for a big save in the model run. But after that, you know, it never really could capture the same glory again, you know. Not surprising. I don't know, what are yours capable of? Can they destroy this farm? Oh, a psychic, eh? Well, now... A Slowpoke? Well, this is a terrible matchup. I mean, between level advantage, I also, you know, have a massive, you know... Power advantage here, because of typing. Man, what's, what was the Slowpoke supposed to do? Use Gunk Shot? It doesn't even exist yet! I suppose I could go for Sludge Bomb, I don't even know if... This version of Slowball could even learn a poison move. Probably not. Oh man. I just need better moves. Ugh. We may have to turn to a luck-based strategy though and just pray. 
for success. Oh, it's a fight her or Pikachu, right? Yep, because we got two Pikachu users on this road. Despite the fact she has Clefairy dolls. Makes me wonder why she has a Pikachu, to be honest. Like, why aren't she using a Clefairy? I mean, I know Pikachu's the mascot, but I mean, come on! Give Clefairy some love! It also pushes merch. We can tell she has it. She has lots of it. <laughs> Is it? Is it really? This doesn't feel like it's a good time to brag to me about your stupid Pikachu. Man, I need to go back and pick off all those other trainers before we head to Olivine City. Gosh darn, the fact we're gonna have an episode dedicated to just going to the city, of all things. Oh man, that feels out of place. Well, we're definitely gonna get to, you know, almost eight minutes we have to backtrack, because there's one other psychic we can fight. And I know there's another beauty we can do battle with, too. To try and get up to level 31. Yeah, I know, you always spend my money on useless crap. Okay. Let's go back this way. That'll let me, uh... Oh, there's a bird trainer down here, yeah. Well, I think I can take his birds. His burbs aren't a match for my dinosaur. Because we got headbutt. That can take care of any burb. Oh, he's got a Doduo? That's cool. I like Dodrio. I just never use it because you acquire it so late, you know? Like... By then, I've already established my three, or two, you know, like... In Mile Runs, it's hard to really run more than that in Gen 1, just because of how high-level the Elite Four are. It's a matter of time versus investment at a certain point, you know? Sadly, you know, you can't catch these early even in this game. It's like, gosh darn it, game, you teased me! We got to 31. Oh, yes. Body Slam. Well, Headbutt. I don't think Body Slam is that much more powerful, but it can paralyze, which... You know, I could really use another status effect, you know? Like, that's always helpful. Now, if only we got Leech Seed. It'd really go well with that Synthesis. Oh, well, I guess we can replace this with Rest later, maybe. Oh, let's body slam it. Getting a little spittle there too. Jeez. Ugh, I guess I need to to drink more. I'm getting too thirsty. Well, it's kind of hard to do that with all your birds passed out. Told you you should have been more careful. Oh, I guess the bike shops have people. I wasn't even around people when they started, you know, giving me the phone call here. Oh, well, I assume it's based on the amount of, um, steps you covered with the bike, and that's... that's it, right? I don't know. I don't know if I'm cute. I just know my Pokémon are gonna murder yours. Well, let's see, we got a Hopip, huh? Why a Hopip? Like, why don't you have a Skip Loom? Why? And we all know I'm gonna have to give a buy slam at some point for probably return. Because I can't just run two normal attacks. Probably. Like, yeah, she's got a skip loom, but why not two? You know? Admittedly, this is kind of a boring team composition. Oh, like, you got the base form, then you got the evolved form. Like, why? Okay... Yes, a berry. I guess we can give it to the cow. I don't have enough, though, to get to uh, produce Moo Moo Milk. Oh, come on. We still gotta fight that one trainer. And that sailor! 
And the lighthouse might take two episodes if we get into enough fights. That would be crazy, but... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Ugh, I mean, normally I just skip most of these trainers, but... I need every level I can get. Oh yes, yeah, he's saying out, Mr. Mime! As we all know, in the anime, it's got crazy barrier powers. Unfortunately, that won't save it today. Because I'm just going to utterly body check it. Because I want those 500, you know, EXPs. The money, not so much. Money won't help me unless I can buy rare candies, you know? Admittedly, if I got one, I suppose I could technically use the cloning trick to make more. Because you can't make Pokemon hold rare candies in this game and just move them around. Though that would be pretty cheap. And I can only control Pokemon up to a certain level before I gotta worry about them becoming disobedient, right? Ah, oh, man. This is a nightmare. Sad part is I don't think, uh... If we get McCain at level 32. I know Veraligator evolves pretty early, but I don't think McGainium does. <laughs> then again, it's been a while since I've used uh, the Chikorita line, so maybe I'm wrong, you know? I, I worried more about trying to figure out a moveset than, you know, what level I'm going to evolve at. That wasn't really, you know, something I thought that much about. Oh, it's kind of sad we couldn't finish off this Radicate with a freaking stab Razor Leaf. But I suppose that's the problem with Razor Leaf. It's not particularly powerful. Um, in Gen 1, its main advantage was it always critted, basically. So, you didn't have to worry about its base power as much, because it effectively always did double damage anyway. I guess we'll find out. Do I get to evolve at level 32? After all, the battle is over, so it's about time to find out. Oh, we do get to evolve early. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna stop it. I need those extra stats right now. Like, anything to help me, you know? If turning into my game is necessary, then that's what I'll do. I don't know if this will be enough, but hopefully it will be. Okay, I guess we'll grab some items in here real fast. Oh, you don't, huh? <sighs> I wish I could say I'd beaten his other uh, form, you know, over in the other area, but I still haven't done that yet. I'm having a hard time getting past even the Haunter. Stupid movesets. Getting in my way. Why couldn't you learn Dig, Meganium? It would have made things so much simpler. Like, even Blade Charmander learns Dig. Like, like I think even Bulbasaur gets access to better ground moves. Albeit, maybe it gets access to Earthquake, so it's nothing I'm gonna have access to for a long time, but it also gets, you know, access to things like Sleep Powder and Leech Seed, so it has options. That's all I'm saying. Well, let's grab the good rod while we're here, too, right? Well, I'll probably go fish in a pond, really. But thank you. Go wherever the there's water. Yeah, I know. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Um, I might return to the Burn Tower and try and go after my rival again, or we'll start climbing the lighthouse. Depends on how the testing goes. Till next time, then. See ya.